Today we're hiking the Sand Canyon Trail near Cortez, Colorado to see thousand-year-old ancient cliff dwellings. Let's go. Okay, so we are doing Sand Canyon West uh, this morning. We've uh, been doing the Canyons of the Ancients uh, National Monument Trails, and this is another one that you can do, so let's go get started on this one. Soon after you start the hike, you'll reach Castle Rock. The Castle Rock Pueblo was built in the 13th century, about the same time as many of the other structures in Sand Canyon. This rectangular kiva was not common for the time, but it's a shape used by modern Hopi people. Castle Rock was partially excavated around 1994 and at least 16 kivas were located. The Sand Canyon Trailhead is just southwest of Cortez, Colorado off Road G. The trail itself is six miles from the trailhead to the northern end, but our goal today was the halfway point. It was still six miles just out and back. On the south half of the trail, you'll see amazing views and seven to eight ancient structures. We stopped in an area shown on the map about three quarters of a mile in. While I'm sure people lived and used this area in the past, we didn't see any obvious structures. Just over a mile in, we reached the Saddlehorn Pueblo. This cliff dwelling has two rooms in the alcove and two additional structures about 100 feet above the alcove. Based on studies of pottery found there, it is likely the Pueblo was used as a home in the late 13th century. I'm sure you noticed Cupcake's blue and white umbrella. It was an absolute lifesaver on this hike. We hiked the trail in mid-August and the sun was brutal. So make sure you have plenty of water. You will need it. Corncob House was built in a large alcove about two miles down the trail. When the site was excavated in 1965, ancient corn cobs and yucca leaves were found. Double Cliff House was built on two ledges of an alcove very near Corncob House. The people who lived there in the 13th century possibly used the ladder to reach the upper ledge, which is about 40 feet long. Next, we reached Sunny Alcove at about two and three quarter miles in. This structure stood out the most for us and included eight rooms and a kiva. There are several well-preserved wall niches here and nearly 70 pottery shards were found here during an excavation in 1965.
About a quarter of a mile up the trail, we reached wall curves with Bedrock House. This small cliff dwelling has a T-shaped doorway and a window on the south wall. The pottery found here during an excavation dates to the 12th and 13th centuries. Nearby, you'll find the tucked away two-story house. The walls to one complete room still stand with a small window facing south. Based on rock outlines, it is believed that there were five additional rooms to the west at some point. That's going to wrap it up for our Sand Canyon hike. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and please leave a comment if you have any questions for us. Check the description for links to information on Canyon of the Ancients National Monument in southwest Colorado. Stay tuned for our video with more adventures in Canyon of the Ancients National Monument coming soon.